part of the reason why black churches don't teach this is because they don't want to get in the struggle either. They don't want to make it, quote-unquote, racially motivated. People, this has nothing to do with racially oriented. I'm going to say that again. This has nothing to do with being racially oriented. This is biblical. Amen. I'm going to repeat that. This is biblical. Amen. These are biblical people. If they weren't, why are they in the Bible? If, if God didn't want you to see this, then why did he write it? He did it because it has to do with his story. I'm saying, your forefathers, now walk with me, walk with me, don't miss this. Because 98% of everybody out there believes that their roots starts in Africa. So they call themselves black African Americans. And really what they should be talking to themselves is they are what? The Hebrews and the Jews of the original temple of the city of David. Amen. So you wonder why you're hated. Because it's what's in your blood. See, you don't know who you are. And God wants to reveal it to you. See this is what my white family don't understand and what they don't understand is the time of us gentiles is up hi guys welcome back to our channel in case you're new here my name is maren and i'm maureen right so in today's episode we're going to be reacting to a video of a white preacher who was teaching his white congregants about the true identity of black people in the bible yeah and if you'll notice this is not a recent video guys this is a video from way back and in his sermons he also tries to explain why black people are hated all over the world right this leads us to the question mm -hmm. why is it that a lot of black people around the world still Still do not know these guys let us know in the comment section but meanwhile let's watch this video and then we come back and talk about it if you have not subscribed kindly consider doing so turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we make new posts let's watch and then we come back and talk about it hey there my family this is your brother dana and i'm coming to you from the city of atlanta you know the decision today from the supreme court was not a shock to me because we know that every system in this nation, including the justice and the Supreme Court, was made to sustain, maintain, and above all else, protect white supremacy, white power, white privilege. But see, this is what my white family don't understand. And what they don't understand is the time of us Gentiles is up the time of the gentiles is up white family so it doesn't matter about your military power it doesn't matter about your president in the office it doesn't matter even about the supreme court's decision to protect your white supremacy because the bible says that the time of the gentiles will come to a fulfillment and you are the generation to see and witness the fulfillment. Luke 21, 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Those are our black brothers and sisters. And will be led away captive into all nations. That was our black brothers and sisters, ancestors that were taken into all nations by the Atlantic slave trade and Jerusalem shall be trodden down by the Gentiles who are our current white Ashkenazi Jewish people. And look up what ish on the end of the word means in the English language. And these Jewish Gentiles will trodden down Jerusalem until the time of the Gentiles is fulfilled. To you, my Gentile family members, the time of our reign has been fulfilled. It is now time for Jacob to rise to the head. And the Dikenti de 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 cloth 
that you find in this, in, that most black culture uses as African cloth is the center cloth that was used in Solomon's temple and his mobile moving tabernacle. So where did you get that cloth from? Moses' mobile moving tabernacle. How did Moses get it? Because he was married to Zipporah and also an Ethiopian woman and etc. Now do you get the picture? Is this some good stuff? So you must take the people Back past Africa, past Africa, past Africa. You've got to get them back to the city of David and show them right here that your forefathers, the Queen of Sheba, was already in the city of David at the time of Solomon when the temple was being built. Oh, I don't know about you, but I can get excited about that. Whew, it's good stuff. I'm going to get this DVD. Can I get a win of it? Amen. 1 Kings 3, 1. And Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verses 5 and 6. I am dark. Some versions say black, but lovely. O daughters of Jerusalem, like the tents of Kedar, like the curtains of Solomon, do not look upon me because I am dark, because the sun has tanned me. So the priesthood... And then I turned to my black culture and I said, what? Your bloodline is priesthood? And, and no one told you that? I mean, like, not even one sermon with the Holy Ghost? Not one time. Everybody's up. I mean, like, it never even crossed their mind. Like, I should maybe just mention this. I want to ask you a question. Why, out of thousands and thousands of preachers, would not one in the Holy Ghost have the revelation? Could it be that the presence of this thing that happened in Africa maybe still has some influence that you forget your roots and not even be interested in it. So you wonder why you're hated. Because it's what's in your blood. See, you don't know who you are. And God wants to reveal it to you. But even as I'm telling you it, it, it no, no offense, can I just be, can I just be friendly? Even, even as I tell the black culture this, it's like, you know, sh I just, you know, don't bring it up. And so what I do with my big mouth, I bring it up. Why? Why should you be ashamed of your culture? I, just, I don't understand it. It's not in my logic. Well, you have to think about this. Because sometimes we have an internal struggle because God's got a repositioning. But every culture God has I'm going to teach you. I'm going to share with you. Every culture is in the Bible, just like this. But the reason we don't bring it up is because we have been brought up in a democracy slash republic and a religion that doesn't want to discuss this because we fear what it will reveal because we're into controlling people instead of releasing people. Come on, everybody. Amen. Amen. Our black brothers and sisters that we have held captive underneath white supremacy for more than 400 years. They are the real Hebrews of the Bible. And what took place in Egypt to the powerful Pharaoh and his kingdom will be exactly what takes place into this mystery Babylon, the United States of America as God or the Most High God comes to set his precious chosen children, our black brothers and sisters, the real Hebrews of the Bible free. And so there is no Supreme Court ruling. There is no president, no army, no intelligence that you can have to hold back 
the Most High Yah God coming to get his children. Remember, Pharaoh thought he was all that in a bag of chips too. So guys, welcome back. Let us know what you think about this episode in the comment section. And as we had asked earlier in the introduction, all right, why is it that a lot of, because it seems like a lot of black people also still do not know this information, right? Mm -hmm. And right now, there's a lot of revelations coming to light in this day and age. And one of those revelations was brought forth by the president of Russia, Putin, okay? When he revealed the true char characters and identities of people of the Bible who are changed to seem like they were white also right now as much as palm colored people would like to pretend that they don't know who black people are i feel like a lot of people are coming forward and they are teaching them they are telling them who black people are and right now ignorance is not even a defense and it's inevitable they all know who who we are it's only that some of them are living in denial right and when he said our time is up you also look at a scenario where um I could say that palm-colored palm people are trying to escape judgment. And when you look at interracial marriages right now, it's like they're trying to find ways to, do, to redeem themselves, all right? So those videos that were trending after President Putin released those videos of um, the true identity of, biblical, identity of biblical figures, okay? So there are these videos that were trending of palm-colored people asking black people for forgiveness. Let me just say some of them, for for. People to say they, in the Bible they said that in the end days um, you will know who I am. God said in the end days you will know who I am. A lot of you will become more aware. And they can say right now for a palm colored person, even if they don't know about you know what is to happen, for them to even come forward and ask for forgiveness, it it means that their humanity has been touched. I feel like they are knowing who God is. For you to love your neighbor is for you to know who God is. And I feel like you are right now at that stage, a lot of them are unaware, but a lot of them also are also aware, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know, guys. Let us know what you think about this episode in the comment section. This also makes me ask myself, is this the reason why? Because some black people have accused palm colored people of mixing with the black people. It's why you are finding right now a lot of intermarriages are existing. So they've been, they've been accusing them of mixing with the black race because they know that judgment is upon them and they know that the end times are coming. So my question is, is this also the reason why that they are moving away from, you know, from um, from their own race and marrying other black people you know because you know the effect of intermarriage intermarriage means generations to come they are going to look different from what they really from the original so i don't know you guys let me know what you think about this video on the comment section for those who've not subscribed kindly consider doing so and if you're new to this channel let us know that um you passed by thank you so much for catching our episode let's catch you on the next